who came to visit me today. The only daughter that cares. Kennedy's home sleeping. The only kid that cares. Only, yeah, only. Well, Brandon is on vacation with Devorah, or yeah. I, was, I refer to him as Bravora. He still wouldn't come if he was home. And yeah, he would have. He's I... down there with Devora and the nerd Migos. So oh. Claudia came over for a healthy breakfast because I was in the hospital again <laughs> last week with pancreatitis from. I guess I had a gallstone and didn't know about it, but because he was eating fast food for these anyway, videos. Anyway, my new videos are going to be. Healthy. Healthier. There will be some fast food videos, but not many anymore. So, and there'll be more cooking videos, like everybody keeps requesting. <laughs> so, I'm making an effort. So, my first uh, today we're going to do an egg white omelet. Claudia is going to film it for me, and then we're going to sit down and do a mukbang together. <laughs> Today we're making, I'm making Claudia healthy egg white omelet with some bacon, which is probably the most unhealthy part of the whole meal. And we're gonna have some Ezekiel bread, which actually is a lot better than I thought it was because I'm cleaning up my diet. I don't know if you can notice, but I've lost like 30 pounds in three months. I know some of you haven't, but some of my videos have said that I look a lot healthier and thinner and better. I guess I was too freaking fat before. <laughs> My kids always busted on me that I was fat. I never once called you fat, Brandon Kennedy did. Oh yeah, Brandon Kennedy did. Probably why he doesn't put me in his videos much anymore because he thought I was too fat. <laughs> That's not true. Or I was getting too famous for my own good. But yeah, I'm making completely healthy food from now on. Last week I spent Thursday and Friday in the local hospital being diagnosed with pancreatitis, which usually occurs from too much alcohol, but apparently I must have had a, a gallstone in the previous four weeks. And that caused my pancreas to be inflamed. Now I have to clean up my diet, workout, and not that it was that bad before, but apparently you can't eat fatty foods when you have pancreatitis until you completely heal up. Plus my kids were always bitching at me about my diet anyway. Mm -hmm. Not that theirs is that great. Not so enough. Claudia probably eats the healthiest, and Kennedy, because she has issues. Brandon's just a billy goat. <laughs> Freaking eat anything. But yeah, I'm gonna do more videos that are healthy related, along with some normal reviews, fast food items, but there won't be many of those. And a lot more cooking videos because everybody keeps asking for them. I'm sure Claudia's happier since I probably won't die uh, anytime soon. Yeah, we're good diabetes. See how bad I look. It's too early for this shit. Like, actually it's 11, but. All right, so we're gonna make some egg white omelets. Super healthy with spinach, a little bit of bacon. Claudia's not very happy about the spinach part, but <clears throat> once it's fried up and in the egg, it's pretty good. It's good for you. It'll help her gains. If I can eat it, anybody can eat it. I'll let that cook down a little bit. Nothing like some rabbit food. Maisie wants some. Do you want some? No, I don't think you eat it. Huh? Do you want some? I can't pick you up right now. I can't pick you up. I know you want your head rubbed. She always wants her head rubbed every morning. But yeah, all you have to do is reduce this down a little bit for a few minutes. And then you can pour your uh, eggs over top, flip it, add some bacon to it, cheese if you want. Try to use all natural, like Sargento cheese, shredded cheddar, mozzarella, whatever you like, it's all good. I usually add a little garlic powder or onion powder to mine to make it taste better. See, okay, looks better already. Then we'll add the egg whites to it. Like weird pattern, like looks like a brain. Like a brain. Yeah, That's yeah. why I whip them up because it makes them lighter and nasty. Yeah, I would fluffier. buy them in the, in the containers, and it like looks so gross I couldn't even eat it. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't ever buy them from the container. I'd rather mix up my own. I don't trust those pre-mixed things in the store. Is that enough bacon, or do you want more? Mm. We got lots of bacon. It's super crispy and thin. Mm. Now I always tip mine up and get the excess runniness off. Because Claudia here does not like a runny egg, nope. which I can understand. It's kind of gross. Oh, that's cooking up so lovely. It looks amazing. And you can add spices to it want, if you want, like hot sauce or salsa or anything you want to throw in there. Nice and healthy. Please, like, please give me some. <laughs> like a pogo stick. <laughs> Flip that over. 
had a little breakage there, but mm. I'm going to chew it anyway. That is omelet number one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. Got some toast over here. Have us a mukbang. Got some Ezekiel bread there. Super healthy, low in carbs, high, super high in protein. I guess in vegetable protein and uh, virtually no sugar, which I've literally eliminated. I've eliminated white sugar. Now I have coconut sugar, the brown coconut sugar. Yum. Which is 100% natural and actually tastes better in coffee. And I cut out the cream and milk and switched to uh, replace it with almond milk. Good job. Thanks, Miss Lori. I'm sure she told you what to get. Well, we researched it, but she researches healthy stuff all the time. The people crack up that you guys still call her Miss Lori. I can't not. They don't, they don't, yeah, it's the same Michael and Alex still call me Mr. Aiden. We, we've been together since they were like really young. It's almost like, like calling someone mom or dad, like you, like, if I just say Lori, it doesn't sound right. It's like calling you your name instead of calling you dad. Yes, but I'm trying to be super healthy. Fish, all sugar, most of the carbs. Mmm. So, Claudia just took a hit, <laughs> walked into the side of the counter, and she's down for the count. <gasps> I feel like I got shot. <laughs> oh my god. You all right? Yeah. Maisie's there offering comfort. Oh. All right, so anyways, this is part of the yeah. healthy new diet. Instead of butter, I'm using these individual avocado little containers instead of wasting a big bowl and it turns all brown in two days. Is it just avocado? Just avocado. I think it's got a little bit of spice to it. But that, on some Ezekiel bread, get an extra protein, it's all good. Nice healthy egg white omelet with my favorite child. Quality is definitely the favorite now since the other ones never never show up. Kennedy was just too lazy to get out of bed. This is actually my first ever egg white omelet. Really? You seem like you knew what you were doing. Well, it's just like making a regular omelet. And you can see that, that looks pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, this is my first egg white omelet. You pretty much make it the same way as you make a regular omelet. It's your first meal of the day? Yeah, first meal of the day. Starting? Yep. I gotta get up. I've been up since like 5.30. I have to eat as soon as I wake up, although I didn't today. No, when I wake up, my routine is I uh, let the dog out, drink a tablespoon of yeah, apple okay. cider vinegar. Oh, Maisie cleaned up on that one. We're sharing. Teaspoon, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and cranberry juice and then some water and then a coffee. Mm. This Ezekiel bread 4.9 sprouted is amazing. It's not bad. It's not white bread, but I like sourdough. Fresh sourdough bread. I'm eating, from now on, I'm eating whatever. Healthy and I like it because it reminds me when I was a kid, like, your grandfather was from Ireland, so we used to get brown bread all the time. It's like a sourdough brown bread. Yeah, but sourdough is, like, good for you. Depends on what kind of flour it's made with. If it's enriched, that means they add stuff to it. Well, that's why I usually get it from, like, sprouts or, like, somewhere organic, fresh baked, or Wegmans. Well, you and Kennedy eat pretty, like, decent most of the time, don't you? I try to. I mean, I always, for breakfast, all I ever eat is, like, two eggs, two pieces of bread. Yeah, I usually eat eggs, eggs and rice for, for breakfast. Well, we usually if you have so many good places to eat. Yeah, but I don't like eating out. Like, I really need to get better at finding dinners to cook. Well, I noticed Brandon and Corey are on those meal plans. Yeah, but it's still not, like, the same. Like, it doesn't taste like home-cooked food, in my opinion. I used to do it, and I didn't like it. Well, that's what I read on the internet. I mean, I would never would waste that kind of money. I mean, they have single-serving rice containers now that heat up in a minute. Let me just add chicken or fish or eggs to it, and you're good to go. You guys don't have Trader Joe's, and they have good stuff there. Well, I got the Ezekiel bread from, from Walmart. You can get that anywhere now, but like Trader Joe's has like, I don't know, just a lot of like different options of food and healthy food. I know. I was trying to get it Saturday. I was looking, we we're looking all over for it. I didn't realize it was frozen. And then when I was checking out, there was a oh, yeah. young girl behind me with like all kinds of healthy stuff. And she had the exact bread. I'm like, excuse me, where'd you get that from? She goes, oh, it's in the candy aisle where that frozen fruit uh, section is. I hadn't told you it was frozen. You can't find stuff. You just Google it online. Like, what aisle is this at Walmart? And it'll tell you. I know. I don't usually do stuff like that. I'll wander around the store. It's actually really good. I can feel the healthiness pulsing through my body now. Mm -hmm. More bacon. Bacon is so damn good. I know. Well, that's why I took it in the microwave mm. in between paper towels so it pulls all the fat out. So good. And you're left with super crispy bacon. Never pan fried. It's disgusting. Mmm. 
Maybe you're still. You eat three. You eat one. Not eating anymore. It's too soon to be eating all that stuff. Why don't you try turkey bacon? Not I'm getting healthier, but I don't really eat that much bacon. Lori only eats three pieces Saturday and Sunday morning, and that's it. We don't really eat bacon during the week. Yeah. You have to fact. There's no need for it. She loves me so much. I love how she remembers me every time. When I got here, she was so happy. Right? That's because she was in her kennel. I yeah, but I love how she just this. sits on me and she like wants me to hold her. She loves attention. She's spoiled. I don't think it went on the ground. Mm, she got it. It was over there. Are you going to eat the rest of the day? No, I said, what are you going to eat the rest of the day? Um, probably not that much. Probably just have uh, mostly liquids. Get a workout in because I haven't been there since uh, last Thursday. And that's the day I ended up in the hospital, which was extremely unpleasant. Claudia's was the only one that offered to come see me. What, in the hospital? Yeah, I was just going to show up. I told my story. You probably won't want me to, but I'm going to come. And she said, you can't. You can't. They would only let one person in the trauma room. And after that, nobody's allowed upstairs. It's one of the only hospitals the nurse said there's no visiting. I was going to say, I was surprised because everywhere else, it's like you'd have one person. They said nobody. Of course, they weren't checking for corona either, so nobody got tested. She's an awesome dog. Nice and small, easy to take care of. Hey, stop doing that. <laughs> Developing bad habits. <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble. Somebody's gonna see this and I'm gonna catch hell for letting you lick off the counter. You mean bad girl? Claudia, did you enjoy your egg white omelet? Yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good. I'm supposed to say it was very good. It was very good. Finish the rest of your Ezekiel, bro. That shit's like $5 it's yours. or whatever. I don't eat it anymore. I haven't eaten hardly. I've been on liquid diet for three days. Mm. You know, popsicles, applesauce. Ooh. You should be having juices. I ate, drink juice and water. They told me to drink mostly water. No, but like, I mean, like, juice. Fruit juices, not juice with sugar in it. Well, I eat those natural fruit uh, popsicles with chunks of fruit in it that have no garbage in them. They kept trying to give me jello in the hospital. I mean, I was just like, Ew. If they're like, if you can keep this jello down, I'm like, I'm not I sick. I hate jello. I would literally gag on it. Well, they gave you jello, Italian ice, and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, broth. And, and some broth out of a can. I ate the broth because I was Horrible. starving. And that's why I've changed my diet. And it'll probably help my gains better. No more. Right. You're in trouble. Actually, I'm 50, 58 and a half. I almost have abs now from all the weight that I've uh, it's usually what happens. lost. It takes getting sick well, to start eating healthy. 80% of uh, losing weight is your diet. And when you're limited to what you can eat or you can't eat at all, this is the second time I've done, had to do a three day just liquid diet, which actually really isn't that bad. You need cold pressed juice. No, I just drink the 100% cranberry juice for now and those popsicles. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll both be your friend. Stay tuned for the next video. And you have to say subscribe if you want to see his girlfriend. Yeah, we're getting close. We're past the 50,000 mark. So at 100,000, my girlfriend will be exposed. <laughs> Hopefully. She may run and hide. Who knows? Keep subscribing. Keep liking. And like I said, we'll all be your friend. That's just creepy. It's very creepy. That's what I like about it. It's creepy. It's creepy. It's creepy. Don't get your head lower in it. Hold it closer to your chin. Yeah, there you go.